All right, we're a little bit late, so we'll jump straight into it. Uh, welcome, everybody, to the 9th of August Cubert Community Meeting. I hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon, night, or morning, wherever you are. Um, as I said, if you could please add your names in the uh, attendees list here. Um, and do we have anyone, any new members who uh, would like to introduce themselves or people who have been to this meeting before and haven't introduced themselves and would like to take that opportunity now? I'll take that as a no. All righty, first up, we'll jump into the schedule check-in. Um, and yeah, please call out if you can see my screen, because I'm presuming you can. Slow internet. You mean nostalgia for Australia. Right. So I just said it was the 9th of August. So we must have the Kubernetes release uh, very soon, like next Tuesday, 1.28 comes out. I haven't heard anything to the contrary. That's been delayed. So we'll, we'll take that as gospel. Nothing for us at the moment, but alpha will be cut. Uh, what's that? A week later. So two weeks' time, we'll have 1.1 uh, alpha cut. And feel free to jump in and um, yeah, add any context or questions while we go through these things, if you've got them. Have a quick look at the events. Um, we've got two talks at KubeCon China, uh, which I'm very excited about. Uh, Howard Zhang, I don't know if Howard's on the line, but he's talking about Kubert on ARM. And he's also giving the maintainer talk about what uh, the Kubert version one release means from an end user perspective. Uh, we've also got these, um, uh, Kubver, uh, no, right, Kubernetes Community Days, uh, regionalized events in Sri Lanka, Texas, and Denmark, and the Open Source Summit in Japan. If you're anywhere near those places for the, um, uh, the dates put here. So those are also relevant CFPs. And as usual, if the, you're aware of an event that you're interested in or have submitted to, let me know. I'll add it to the board and I can, um, I can tell other people about it. And if you get a talk accepted, Tell me and I'll put it down in a little box down the bottom and we can uh, promote as much as we can. Right. We have a zero point agenda. Um, so we'll move on to the open floor. But uh, as always, if you've got anything that you want to add and you remember it at the last minute, by all means, throw it on there. And before we wrap up, if we haven't come to it, uh, please shout out. So uh, Felix, you've got the... Yeah, so... I just want to let you know that we uh, just published the Ansible collection for Kubert. So it was published on uh, Ansible Galaxy. And there's also the, the link to the repository. And um, yeah, any, any feedback would be appreciated. Cool. Um... For people like me, let's just pretend I don't know anything about the significance of this. What exactly does it mean in 40 seconds or less? In 40 seconds or less, okay. So uh, this collection contains two modules you can use um, with Ansible. One is for uh, enumerating virtual machines on a cluster. So Ansible knows that there are hosts you can manage. And the other module is used to manage the life cycle of a VM. So it can create a VM, update it, and delete it. Very cool. And under time as well. Well, congratulations, I guess. Is that, is that an appropriate Thanks. response? I think so. Excellent. Congratulations. I can say it with more confidence this time. Um, all right, did anyone have any questions or comments on the um, Qubit Ansible collection? Okay, we'll move on to uh, the unnamed next point, next steps on API reviews design. Who Hi, that? sorry. that's me, Ali. Um, I just added that. 
this minute. I'll uh, add my name there. Uh, but I was, I have a, a design document out um, that I'm hoping to get some more um, engagement. So I thought um, I will raise it as a point here. So um, this design doc talks about um, uh, enhancing the reviews, review process specifically for uh, uh, API changes. Um, it discusses, um, uh, you know, things and lays down um, uh, strategies for reviewers, for new contributors, as well as some uh, automation or, or tooling to help us um, catch uh, backward breaking changes. Um, I have actually um, done some POC work as well, and I was able to catch um, a couple of, well, actually I caught one uh, breaking change in the uh, status field using that POC. So, um, yeah, if you scroll down to line um, 107, that's where the link for the POC is at. Yeah. So I was just hoping for some um, guidance on what the next steps would be for, for this um, design doc to move forward. I was hoping someone else would uh, jump in there and I'll give it another few seconds of silence for someone to jump in there. Very well. In which case, let's have a look. Um, my presumption would be that it's had some comments and they've been people asking what they think you've accommodated all the suggestions um it looks a lot like it just these people to um lgtm and approve so who have we got up in the review list let's see if those people are on the line Stu, jed um john or lee are any of you on the line I am. I will have a look. Wonderful. All right. Um, and yeah, other than that, LA, I think the next thing will be to, yeah, we'll just have to um, ping the people responsible and get it approved. But, um, would it help? I so. um, one of the things I was thinking was starting a discussion around it on uh, the mailing list. Not sure if that would help gather more attention as well. I think it's a great idea, uh, especially if you haven't raised it already when when you created this design proposal. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Awesome. Thank you very much. This is very neat. All right, we've got a couple of pull requests. Um, I'll open a couple of them at once so I don't have to wait for them. All right, first one, Bert Controller, Story Eviction Strategy and Status. This one was raised by Eka Darcy. Um, what do we got? Story VM assigned eviction strategy into the status. Understands clear eviction strategy. I'm not entirely sure where this falls. Uh, does this speak to anyone in particular that would like to um, have a look at it? Hi. Um... I can take a look at it. This falls right um, under the umbrella of API review. So be happy to take a look. Perfect. A marvelous segue. Thank you very much. Would you like me to uh, CC you onto it? Sure thing. Thank you. Awesome. 
apologies for the speed at which this is traveling. Uh, I'll come back to that. Let's jump on to something that's actually loaded. Uh, fixing aggregated discovery. This is uh, super fresh. Um, so I'm not about not putting in, but we didn't actually have that many things to look at um, because people have been so wonderful about reviewing pull requests and bugs in general. Um, so I threw it in here. Uh, not, I don't know if Libbo's on the line, but um, not an awesome uh, PR description, but it goes to fixing the current client code version. As reported by Sean S3. Uh, does this speak to anyone who happens to be on the line? Uh, I can take a look. Awesome. Uh, who who was that? Felix. Felix, wonderful. Again, I didn't recognize your voice. Maybe next right, time. This one's loaded. <laughs> I was going to guess your name next time anyone speaks. I don't necessarily recognize their voice. O X Felix. Wonderful, thank you, Felix. Um, and oh, we looked at that. This one, I think, Juan raised because we see seeds too, and he didn't do anything about it. Um, I don't know if Stu's on the line. Uh, Stu is on PTO, but I can have a look, maybe. Awesome, very wonderful. Um, that was Jed, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, ah, there you go. Thank you very much. That is it. Actually, um, uh, I think I saw, I don't know if Lee's on the line um, or Felix, if you can speak to this. Um, I did see that he pinged the, uh, I think the Cuba Dev Slack channel asking for something to be looked at. Uh, I haven't seen it since then. Has he gotten the reviews that he needs on that? Do you happen to know? It was kind of a, a long withstanding um, PR that he's had out. I think this could be about common instance types uh, being deployed by the VIT operator. So at least in the proposal for that, if you are talking about this. So any, any feedback on this would still be uh, yeah, welcome. Appreciate it. Okay, let me just have a quick look. I'll just pull out. Um, uh, okay, it's in the CDI repo. My boy doesn't come up here. Um, I think it's this one. Make it an unassuming data volume. Source. There's something different there, yeah, but I think this also needs reviews. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I think I saw Mike on the line. It, yeah, I got, I'll take a look at this. Thank you very much. I'll throw it into the agenda. It's the one that has a very, it's this one. Got it. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, I don't think we had anything in the mailing list. We, I went through the bug scrub and everything was perfect. Thank you, everyone, for taking care of that. So, have a quick look here just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Felix's announcement. Um, yeah, it Oh yeah, we've got a new repo. It's currently empty. And so I didn't see the point in announcing it, um, but when it has some content, um, we'll, we'll make a mention that we have a new repo. And this is um, coming from the work done by our Google Summer of Code um, mentee, I guess we call him, um, Nitish, who has recently joined the community. And it is about uh, SecComp profiles. And I, as I understand, it builds onto the Qbert CI. Um, in about a month's time, in the community meeting, we're going to have Nitish come in. It'll be after he's wrapped up the Google Summer of Code, and I'll ask him to give a um, quick presentation about the work that he's been doing and about the Google Summer of Code in general. 
Um, and uh, I'd like to think that this could be the starting point for other people to perhaps also bring in uh, a short, you know, two to 10 minute demo or conversation about the kind of work that they do, because uh, I do get the feeling that we all kind of tend to work on our own little bits and the broader community only really sees it perhaps when it's done and in the release and in the release notes. Um, so I thought it might be nice to press the, when, when people are ready and on their own time, uh, if maybe once a month, someone could um, put their hand up and say, hey, look, I'm actually pretty excited about it. You don't actually have to present anything if you're much happier, just putting like a wordless, um, but uh, well intonated demo out um, recorded, that's also totally cool. It's just about kind of showing what it is that we do here, I think is good. Um, yep, nothing here. There's no bugs, which brings us to the end of today's meeting. Um, unless anyone has anything that they'd like to sneak in at the last minute. Ah, chat. Uh, excellent. I'm glad to see that proposal is met with optimism. Um, it sounds like no, in which case, thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you everybody for uh, looking at reviewing and taking care of bugs and things like that, for participating in the conversations on the mailing list and in Slack, for taking care of the people that need help. Uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day, weekend and week, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks, you. Andrew. Thank you. Bye-bye.